Hey guys, it's Technoli here again, and today we have kind of a cool little thing for all you guys that might happen to have an HP Elite Desk G6 800. And there it is. Of course, these are tiny little guys, little minis, and uh, the thing that's kind of cool about these is they're powerful, because this is, as you can see here, a Comet Lake um, system so it's you know pretty new and you can upgrade memory you can put two hard drives in it uh, NVMEs and you can put a two and a half inch um, drive in it for like Windows or something like that or data storage and I'm gonna show you inside on this thing okay let me pull it open for you Okay, so there it is. Right here is where your two and a half inch would go. And then under this tray, which you just remove with these two screws, you've got your NVMe. There's one right here, and there's another slot over here. And then in this corner, there is a Wi-Fi chip, of course. And the Wi-Fi works on this, so we're good there. Really well built, of course, and... Uh, is super fast okay let me get over here to ebay and uh, just show you these are not cheap but um when you consider how much you can upgrade it it might be a good alternative to a mac mini or something like that because mac minis you can't upgrade you know you're gonna pay six hundred dollars for the new one and uh well let me just show you Okay, guys, so here we are on this uh, Elite, and that's about the cheapest one I could find. I'm sure, you know, if you looked on eBay or wherever, you might be able to find a better deal. But this comes with 16 gigs, which is nice, and 256, so not bad. So, of course, we're going to have the EFI on Technoli.com uh, download page. And it costs you nothing. And so if you already have one of these things, you're good to go. Now I'm going to show you a couple of issues with installing this. I also need to show you the bio settings. They're very important. And um, I just want to show you what you're going to run up against when you're doing the restarts. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Let's get over here uh, to... The BIOS settings. So let's go ahead and go out of here. Now on this particular computer you have to hit the F9 key. As soon as this goes black I'm going to start tapping the F9 key to get into the BIOS. Okay now and right here you have no choice but to hit enter and let it reboot again so start tapping the F9 key. Okay, so we're going to go over here and just hit Escape and go down to BIOS Setup. Okay, so in this area here, there's really nothing we need to change, okay? So we'll go over to Security. And in here, we want to go ahead and check... BIOS Sure Start and just have everything like you see it right here. Okay? Right there. If you need to pause this video, go ahead. And then here, Secure Boot Configuration. Just like here. Make sure that's off. All right. Go out of here. Nothing else we need to change. So let's go over here to Advanced and Boot Options. Just like you see it here, make sure that fast boot is disabled. Just like here, okay? All right, we'll go back. This is that HP Sure Recovery. That's the message that keeps coming up. 
every time we do a reboot on this computer, and it's just a pain. I've got it unchecked, but it still wants to give me that failure. So let's turn this on, and let's uncheck this right here. So now it should not give us that failure. So we'll see if it works. Okay, system options. Just like you see it here, make sure that this is turned off, the this VTD. Okay, so we're good there. Built-in devices, make sure you have it set just like this, and you want to make sure this is set to 64 megabytes. 64 megabytes right here. Go back. Port options. Nothing we need to change there. So that's it, guys. We're done. Hit F10 and say save changes. Okay, we're coming back up. Okay, once you finish those settings, then you want to press that F9 key again because you're going to want to change what you're booting from. So right here is my bootable USB stick with the EFI in it, of course. And then you'll go ahead and press there and it'll start to install. We've already got it installed, so we'll just hit that and we'll go ahead and go back into the OS. I've still got the text showing. We'll turn that off when we get finished. Okay, now remember we turned off the HP Secure Recovery. Now let's see if that worked. So what I'm going to do, this is just a regular boot up and we're going to reboot the computer. Let's just do a restart, okay, and we'll see if that message comes up. Yeah, it still shows up. So you have to hit enter. And it'll basically reboot itself. And then we can just go back in. So it's kind of a pain that it that it has that secure thing. It it doesn't understand the Mac OS, so it it thinks that there was a problem with the computer. So it warns you. And I have not found a way to turn it off. If anyone knows how to turn that feature off, please uh, tell me down there in the description. All right, so we're back in. This is a 4K monitor we've got. So it does work with 4K. No issues there. And uh, this particular model has three display ports on it. I'm not sure if... I'm sure that the some of them came with HDMI, but if you don't have a display port on your monitor, then you're going to want to get a display port to HDMI adapter cable. All right. Okay, guys. So I just wanted you to be aware of some issues you may have with installing the OS on these little HP G6s. And I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you guys get one and you uh, do this. Just put it down there in the description box and we'll get a little conversation going on about this. Got a lot of fun videos coming out real soon and uh, we will see you on the next video. Thanks so much.